Because you're in these ups and downs through life, you, uh, you know that, well, tomorrow I'm going to feel better, the sun will be shining and so on. But when you're in this type of depression I speak of, it doesn't matter whether it's the black of night or whether the, the, the sun is shining or anything else, nothing looks, nothing looks good. It's all blackness. Talk about leading with your best foot forward. Of all the criticism I have to say about this video, the way that it opens was very stunning and very respectful to the difficulties of talking about mental illness. If only the rest of the video could have kept up with the standard that the beginning pretty much made or let down. Wow, this man unironically dropped a trigger warning in 2020. Wow, this is going to be epic gold. You may not know is that I have suffered with anxiety and panic attacks really, really badly. I'm depressed. Today I want to talk about my anxiety. Other things that I also struggle with are OCD, panic attacks, PTSD, insomnia, paranoia, and irrational fears. But I also have anxiety. What's up? God damn it. If you suffer from anxiety, make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below saying, oh my God, love you, subscribe, and join the anxiety fam. Now, let me make this clear. The problem I have with trigger warnings is that the trigger warning is in the title. Like, if you cannot read that it's about mental illness and you're going to be uh, talking about some touchy issues, then I don't know, you, you might have some type of learning disorder or you might be... I don't know, like handicapped in some form of way. And also half of these things that they drop are not even mental illnesses, except for, um, I think like the blonde girl said that she has OCD and depression. Well, depression by itself is not a mental illness. It's actually a emotion, just like feeling sad is. Like uh, she should have like dropped the diagnosis or something like that, like maybe manic depression, but depression by itself is not a mental illness, it's just an emotion. And today we're going to be venturing into more of a controversial topic, and that topic being mental illnesses. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and travel a couple of decades into the past. Many years ago, mental illnesses were a taboo topic that were not discussed, and those who suffered from them were often misunderstood and not given the help that they needed. People with anxiety were often told the age-old saying that is still said to this day to just stop stressing and just relax, as if that ever worked. So what works? Shoving copious amount of pills down your throat because you're anxious about a test you didn't study for, because you wanted to drink and sip brewskis with the fellas before you go out and take a test. I mean, come on, calling every emotion like anxiety, which is just an emotion. Now there's many, many mental illnesses that will give you anxiety, but anxiety alone is not a mental illness. People wasn't getting shoved into mental hospitals that were overcrowded just because they had anxiety or some shit like that. And people with depression to stop being so negative as if it was just a switch in your brain You could just turn on and off in some cases people with mental illnesses were just deemed crazy and thrown into institutions Where they had to endure many cruel treatment look sorry to say this But there are different levels of depression some people can help with their depression through medications others cannot because they do not have the right amount of prescriptions that will balance out their chemological uh, nature but yes many people uh, especially with the rise of little pump triple x tentacion juice world uh let's see logic billy iris and many other people who kind of use like depression not so much i don't think like uh billy iris does uh kind of use as depression as a balancing point for their personalities and try to make it seem glossy and cool many people are just choosing to be like or to seem depressed when they actually are not so they can like switch it off and on because they're trying to be trendy but you know some people with a little bit of medication can help themselves with depression some people cannot so we're not going to sit here and dwell on the past because honestly i don't feel like talking about lobotomies and electric shock therapy more than you probably feel like listening to it so the reason why you don't is there nothing to talk about i mean 
uh, lobotomies was only really popular between like the late 40s, like 1949 to the early 50s, 1952, then banned in the U.S. in like 1967, and electroshock therapy is still being used. That's because mental health is a very iffy subject. We don't even know how the pills are actually working in your brain to make you change your personality and it could alter and affect people in many different ways so yeah electroshock therapy is still being used things have obviously changed over time thank god and while it is great that people are being educated about mental illnesses and that the stigmas surrounding them are starting to fade away with the introduction of the internet and the growth of social media many issues have arisen one of which being the romanticization of mental illnesses which by definition according to our trusty friend google the word romanticize is when you deal with or describe something in an idealized or unrealistic fashion and make something seem better or more appealing than it really is Great, so he's about to pull out some groundbreaking stuff like people wishing they are OCD so they can be better janitors or be the best janitors in the world or people wishing that they're sociopaths so they can be surgeons or doctors or many of the nice professions that sociopaths actually dominate. Damn, I wish I would be a sociopath so I wouldn't feel the pain of heartbreak. And now that that's out the way, we can get into what today's video is all about. So the other day I was scrolling through Instagram when I came across something that inspired me to make this video. YouTuber Corinna Koff made this post with the caption, Anxiety sucks. New drop, link in bio, donating 15% to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. So this is a post promoting her new merch. The first one being a black t-shirt that says, My anxieties have anxiety. And the second being a beige hoodie with the literal Google definition of anxiety printed on the back of it. But anxiety is not a mental illness, it is a emotion. Now, menti now, many mental illnesses can give you anxiety, but anxiety is not a mental illness. Calling anxiety is uh, calling anxiety a mental illness is like calling somebody having an imaginary friend when they're seven and alone schizophrenic. All it does is dirty and muddy the water of actual mental illnesses. This is absolutely retarded. And I have to say that uh, why are you criticizing her or making it seem like it's a bad thing that she used a Google definition when you just did? seems counterintuitive i don't know i would like to use the term hypocrisy but people really misuse that word all the time it's just getting very annoying yeah, you really can't make this stuff up. Now, through a lot of extensive digging, I did find a few positive comments on the post with users saying things such as, this drop is rad. We love a caring queen. But through looking through the comments, it didn't take long to notice that majority of people were unsurprisingly not too thrilled with this. With comments such as, you really out here trying to profit off mental illnesses? Stop glamorizing anxiety. This illness has ruined my life and you making a profit off of it is sick. To be honest, we should talk about anxiety, but we shouldn't make it some form of a fashion statement or make it trendy. This to me feels very disrespectful and I don't like how others are okay with people merchandising it. I honestly couldn't agree more. For one, she's literally profiting off of people's mental illnesses with the way that this is marketed because it is obviously aimed at consumers with anxiety. Okay, one little soy boy. Um, you realize that anxiety is not a mental illness. It is actually a emotion or a feeling that anybody can feel. Unless you're a sociopath, at some point you're going to feel anxiety, depression, sadness, happiness, etc. All of the things that are nice in the spectrum of emotion. So anxiety is not a mental illness. Two, she talked about herself, which herself... Um, being that she's her own individual person, she can talk about her own struggles. Do you all go to people who come out as having cancer and saying, oh, wait, you're marketing the people dying to cancer? Blah, blah, blah. Are you talk? do you go to those people with the pink ribbons and saying, why are you exploiting people with cancer? I mean, I have cancer too. I don't want to be exploited. Do you all go to like, uh, people with, um, who cure cancer or treat cancer like doctors and saying you're exploiting people's need to survive come on man you all go to firefighters and saying you're exploiting people who don't want to have third degree burns i mean are you freaking kidding me uh, this is her this is her life and if her anxieties have anxieties who is it 
uh, why is it your problem? She's talking about herself. And if you relate, buy the merch. If you don't, then don't. Or you just don't like her. Don't buy her fucking merch. That's it. And what I think Corinna doesn't understand is there is a distinct difference between marketing to a certain demographic and providing a sense of relatability under the guise of spreading awareness when really it's just to make a sale. And look, maybe I could give her a pass if all of the profits were being donated to a non-profit organization. I already know what some people are thinking. But Luke, she said she was going to donate some of the proceeds to the Association of Anxiety and Depression of America. But she said she was only going to donate 15% of the proceeds. And First of all, 15% is what you give to, like, your top waiter. I mean, how much money is she supposed to donate to anxiety? And uh, who, which demographic is she trying to get to? The people who have emotions and feelings? Everybody at some point in their life will have anxiety. If you have functioning emotions and feelings, you will have anxiety. I mean, did Pharrell try to... Um, tried to market to uh, a certain demographic when he made the song Happy? Did um, Triple X Tentacion try to market to a certain def demographic when he made the bomb ass song Sad? I mean, come on, man. Are you kidding me here? I mean, uh, everybody have at some point anxiety. And really, he doesn't drop how much money or uh, what percentage of money she's supposed to donate to uh, the people with anxiety. I mean, shoot. Why didn't she donate to people with PTSD or P, you know? And while donating to charity is usually commendable, question whether or not she did this just to paint what she's doing in a positive light. Because if people get mad at her, then she can just rebuttal them and saying the proceeds are going to a good cause. So let's focus on the facts. 15% of the proceeds are going towards a good cause. Where's the other 75% going? Straight into Corinna's bank account for her to spend on whatever she pleases. Actually, sir, I don't think you know how capitalism work. It first have to go to the distributor, then they have to go to the stores, then they have to go to the producer, then they have to go to the workers, then it probably have to go to a whole bunch of other hands before it reaches her pocket. So maybe she's looking at maybe 30 to 45% profit, or maybe that. Also, you have to count for the people who probably get like the shirts and not like it and probably want to refund then you have to account for the people who does the shipping and packaging and stuff like that so it's going to reach several hundred hands before it even reaches hers she's going to make a good lick if she sells enough money that is if she sells enough um items and to over to make her into the um black instead of into the red but still I mean, so? I mean, shoot. This is why I will never publicize uh, charity, because nothing is good enough for these people. She should have just kept her mouth shut and made people think. Because either way, you're going to have ingratitude and dickishness from these fucking bloodsuckers. She's indirectly profiting off of her followers' anxiety, and I don't think she understands how completely immoral that is, because if she did, she wouldn't have made it in the first place. Now, I think this user's comment really sums up what I'm trying to say, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. She says, Making and selling your merch about anxiety isn't going to help at all. If you want to help, why not make a donation to a reputable company that actually helps with mental health with the money you make off of this merch? You could even make a video talking about mental health. Start a discussion that's not based on your clothing line, get people talking and informed without having to make money and unfortunately glamorizing mental health. Not everything has to be about merch and money. You have a massive platform you could use for much better than a black t-shirt saying your anxiety has anxiety. Feels like such a waste. And wow, where's the criticism for leukemia children doctors um, when you need it? I mean, come on, everybody makes a some sort of money when it comes to tragedies. The people who picked up people in Hurricane Katrina that worked for FEMA uh, made money. I mean, everybody makes money somehow. Money is the top motivator for work and progression in the world. I mean, come on, please stop being butthurt. But yeah, this is all I can take uh, about the video. He just whines and drags on and have a pure misunderstanding of mental illness. It's quite funny if you look through the sadness. I'm out.